Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a very dreamy energy. I'm seeing someone here who's very romantically interested in you. Um, this could be someone new, or this could be someone younger than you, um, or this is just someone whose feelings have just started to develop. And I do see this person is very infatuated by you. It's like this person sees you as beautiful um, on the inside and the outside. Um, there's even almost a bit of an idealization type of energy from this person. Um, but this person has feelings for you. Uh, um, I do see this person, um, you know, it's like they want to, It's there's a shy energy here. You know, this person may not have expressed these feelings to you. Um, but they are definitely interested in you romantically and um, yeah so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um, Virgo okay so the first card we have is the three of swords in the reverse and this is air energy next we have the tower Mars energy um, Scorpio Aries energy and finally, we have the moon in the reverse, Pisces energy. So you could be dealing with a Pisces. So with this moon being in the reverse, we are, we are seeing someone who has kept their feelings to themselves in some way. Um, the, the moon does show keeping things hidden, especially feelings, keeping things secrets. But with it being in the reverse, I do see this person is um, about ready to express their feelings in some way here. Um, with the tower being there, though, in the middle, there's something unexpected about this person, um, what they're about to confess to you or express to you. There's something about it that is coming either at a bad timing or an unexpected timing, or just it's not really who you would expect this from. There's something unexpected about the situation. Um, with the Three of Swords, you may not be focused on this person right now. You may even be healing from something else, um, something external to your um, connection to this person. Um, it's almost like you may have experienced some sort of heartbreak or um, they could have just been something that you're still currently working on or healing from with regards to your own heart, your own um, your your own um, feelings. Um, but I, I do see this person, it's like they're surprising you with some sort of confession or some sort of truth. Um, regarding their feelings. So let's clarify these cards, Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So we're seeing again a very innocent energy, very almost childlike, pure energy. Um, or this could be somebody who you've known since childhood, um, or there's just this very innocent energy from them, very pure energy, even almost a naive energy from this person. It's like there's a rose-colored glasses type of energy from them. And this person, perhaps there's something about them not being able to read the room um, because something about them confessing these feelings or you know something they're expressing to you is coming at a very unexpected timing and um, you know it's 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 almost 
it, there's, it's just almost like this person is not um, reading the room right now. So I do see something about them very unexpected with that tower energy. But with the Six of Cups, I see this person's um, feelings for you are quite genuine. Um, this sincere. Um, this There is just this nostalgic energy as well. This person could feel a past life connection to you. Um, I do see this person, you know, wanting to be giving towards you. Very sweet energy, feeling a soft spot for you. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um virgo okay so the first card we have is the two of wands and this is fire energy next we have the five of wands fire energy and finally we have the high priestess pisces energy so you could be dealing with um a pisces Okay, so again, with that high priestess energy, that is, again, a mysterious energy. So th this person could have kept their secret, their feelings hidden from you for a long time. Um, this person also may not know your feelings towards them. There's just a big mysterious energy around the situation. And it's like everything that is happening here, it's, it's happening out of nowhere. It's like you, you, you really had no idea. You, you won't see this coming. It's almost like that. And with that five of wands, there's conflict. So there's this, in, this could be inner conflict or this could be someone who you at some point had conflict with um but there's a lot of there's a lot going on a lot of distractions a lot of unexpected revelations and something about this person is expression of feelings or this infatuation that they have it's, it's almost even coming across as inconvenient or um untimely um however with the two of ones it's like the, there's this energy of options this person wanting to um show you that you have options that they are an option they, they they are available to you that they are here um with the five of wands again we're seeing competition so you could very well be already involved with someone else you could be focused on someone else and something about this person's interest in you is coming across as a bit uh inconvenient in some way but this person i, I do see that their feelings are genuine um they care they they they've really um they really are idolizing you and they, they have, have felt this way for a long time. They've kept this to themselves for a very long time. And, you know, it's almost like it could even be that they waited too long. Um, but there's something about their confession being a bit inconvenient in some way. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Virgo. So the card says, work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. Okay, so you could be currently recovering. I do see with that three of swords in the reverse there. And even with the moon there, it's like you're currently working through something. You may even be stuck or hung up on someone or a situation. And um, you're still working through that is what I'm seeing. And I do see it as something external to this person. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Virgo. So the card says, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, so I see so this person as someone who is genuine. Um, this is somebody who, who who genuinely is operating from their heart space, especially with that six of cups and this card. It's like this person, they, they their feelings for you are true. They're real. Um, I, I do see this as someone who, you know, it's like... Um, they don't mean any harm. Um, you may be involved in with someone else or, or be hung up on someone else, but this person, I do see someone who's just genuinely expressing feelings, having love for you, caring about you. Um, you know, it's like very innocent energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Virgo. So the card says false indigo, immersion and intuition. 
when you reach the end of what you should know, you will be at the beginning of what you should sense. Okay, so there's a lot of intuitive energy here as well with this High Priestess and with the, the Moon card here. Um, I do see it, there's, with this person, there could even be a connection whereby it, it, there, there is a need to silence the mind. There is an intuitive or um, a spiritual connection with this energy. However, with the Five of Wands there and the Tower, it's like, you may be distracted when this person comes towards you. You may not have space for them at the moment. There's just the sense of a lot going on at this time. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.